Ladies and gentlemen and honored guests, welcome to the virtual promotion and pinning ceremony for Colonel Duke Ota and Colonel Thomas James. We're sorry everyone can't be here in person, but due to COVID-19, we will honor the history and tradition of the promotion ceremony virtually. I'm Major Jessica Halleck, and I'm honored to be your MC this morning. First, an introduction of our principals for today's ceremony. Presiding over our ceremony is the Governor of the State of Hawaii, the Honorable David Y. Ige, and the First Lady of Hawaii, Mrs. Dawn Amano Ige. Attending virtually, we have the Adjutant General for the State of Hawaii and the Director of Haima, Major General Kenneth Hara, the Commander, Hawaii Air National Guard, Brigadier General Joseph Harris II, Major General Todd McCubbin, Mobilization Assistant to the Commander of Air Force Special Operations Command. Major General Retired Michael Compton, Hawaii Air National Guard. Major General Retired Daryl Wong, former Adjutant General, Hawaii National Guard. Brigadier General Moses Kawivi, Director, Joint Staff, Hawaii National Guard, and Commander of Hawaii Army National Guard. Brigadier General Retired Gregory Woodrow, former Commander, 154th Wing, and his wife, Tracy. Brigadier General Retired Stanley Osterman, former Commander, Hawaii Air National Guard. Brigadier General Retired Skip Vincent, Hawaii Air National Guard, and Mobilization Assistant to the Director of Strategic Plans and Policy, U.S. Indo-Pacific Command. Colonel Steve Logan, Deputy Adjutant General, Hawaii National Guard. Chief Justice Mark E. Rechtenwald, Supreme Court of the State of Hawaii. Chief Judge Lisa Ginoza, Intermediate Court of Appeals, State of Hawaii. Associate Judge Catherine Leonard, Intermediate Court of Appeals of the State of Hawaii. And Director Ron Hahn, Department of Defense, Office of Veteran Services. Our honorees present today are Colonel Duke Ota and his wife Helen, their children Rain, Drake, Seth, and Chaz. Not with us physically and very socially distanced, watching from Colorado is his son Tad, and watching from his home in Mililani is Colonel Ota's father Duke. Also present is Colonel James and his wife, Mayor Janine James along with their sons, Thomas and Jacob. Joining us virtually from La Plata, Maryland is their daughter, Jackie. Watching from Norfolk, Virginia is Colonel James' father, United States Navy retired, Senior Chief Petty Officer William James, as well as Joe and Jane Bodwin, the mother and father-in-law of Colonel James, watching from Winchester, Virginia. You'll notice that the family of the honorees are wearing lei. These lay were given by Governor Ige and the First Lady, Mrs. Don Amano Ige, on behalf of Colonel Ota and James, they'd like to say mahalo. I'll now read you a portion of Colonel Ota's biography. Colonel Duke Ota serves as the Assistant Adjutant General Air, Hawaii National Guard. Colonel Ota graduated from Hawaii Pacific University in 1988 and was commissioned via the Academy of Military Science in 1992. Colonel Ota's command assignments include Commander 154th Aircraft Maintenance Squadron, Commander 154th Maintenance Squadron, and Commander of the 154th Mission Support Group. Colonel Ota's staff assignments include Director of Logistics, Engineering, and Force Protection, 1st Air Force, Tyndall Air Force Base, Florida, and direct, the Director of Staff, Headquarters, Hawaii Air National Guard. Colonel Ota and his wife, Helen, have five children, Rain, Drake, Tad, Seth, and Chaz. I'll now read you a portion of Colonel James' biography. Colonel Thomas James serves as the mobilization assistant to the Director of Strategic Plans and Policy, J-5, U.S. Indo-Pacific Command. Colonel James graduated from Virginia Tech in 1986 and was commissioned via the U.S. Air Force Reserve Officer Training Corps, ROTC program. Colonel James' command assignments include Commander 111th Air Operations Group and Commander 201st Air Operations Group. Colonel James has held numerous staff positions at Headquarters U.S. Air Force, Pennsylvania Air National Guard, and Headquarters Hawaii Air National Guard. While deployed to the U.S. Central Command Area of Responsibility, he served as the Director of Mobility Forces, 609th Combined Air Operations Center. Colonel James and his wife, Mayor Janine James, have three children, Thomas, Jacob, and Jackie. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the Governor of the State of Hawaii, Governor David Y. Ige, for his remarks. Aloha to the families of Brigadier General Duke Ota and Brigadier General Jane Thomas James. This is a very special day. Don and I are always so honored to be able to host these pinning ceremonies at Washington Place. It's something that we look forward to every opportunity we can. Uh, we're a little disappointed, but excited to be here and able to join you in this virtual ceremony today. I've been honored to be able to host these ceremonies and pin the ranks of the generals for the Hawaii National Guard and U.S. Indo-Pacific Command. It's an honor for me to participate in today's ceremony, recognizing soon-to-be Brigadier General Duke Ota and Brigadier General Thomas James. General is not a rank earned simply by serving time, but it is earned through hard work, dedication, perseverance, and achievement. Of course, there are education and command requirements, but generals also are appointed and confirmed by the Congress. At this level, each candidate has to be recommended by the board uh, and confirmed by Congress. Brigadier General Duke Ota serves as the Assistant Adjutant General Heir of the Hawaii National Guard. Brigadier General Ota graduated from Hawaii Pacific University in 1988 and was commissioned via the Academy of Military Science in 1992. His command assignments include Commander, 154th Mission Support Group, Brigadier General Ota's staff assignments include Director of Staff, Headquarters, Hawaii Air National Guard. Brigadier General Thomas James served as a mobilization assistant to the Director of Strategic Plans and Policy, U.S. Indo-Pacific Command. Brigadier General James graduated from Virginia, Virginia Tech in 1986 and was commissioned via the USA Air Force Reserve Officer Training Corps, or ROTC, program. He has held command and staff assignments in both Pennsylvania and here in Hawaii. Additionally, while deployed to U.S. CENTCOM, he served as the Director of Mobility Forces, 609th Combined Air Operations Center. Brigadier Generals do not get here alone. Both men would not be here today without, without the support of their families. I want to acknowledge Mrs. Helen Ota and their five children, and Mayor Janine James and their three children. Congratulations. This is a very special day for your families. To Brigadier General Ota and Brigadier General James, Congratulations on your achievements and best wishes for your very bright futures. Mahalo. Mahalo. Thank you, Governor Ige. At this time, can the Ota family please join us on stage? We will now publish the order. Publish the orders. Attention to orders. Special order GOM 325-2001, dated 20 November 2020. By order of the Secretary of the Air Force and direction of the President, Duke M. Ota Jr. is extended federal recognition and appointed as a reserve of the Air Force in the grade of Brigadier General per Title 32 U.S.C. 305 and 307, and Title 10 U.S.C. 12211, effective 1 December 2020. By order of the Secretaries of the Army and the Air Force, signed Daniel R. Hokinson, General, United States Army, Chief National Guard Bureau.
Thank you, Ota Ohana. We now welcome Colonel James' family to the stage. We will now publish the order. Publish the orders. Attention to orders. Special order GOM 344-2001, dated 9, 9 December 2020. By order of the Secretary of the Air Force and direction of the President, Thomas J. James is extended federal recognition and appointed as a reserve of the Air Force in the grade of Brigadier General. Per Title 32 USC 305 and 307, and Title 10 USC 12211, effective 16 December 2020. By order of the Secretaries of the Army and Air Force, signed Daniel R. Hokinson, General, United States Army, Chief National Guard Bureau. Thank you, James Ohana. Ladies and gentlemen, Governor Ige will now administer the oath of office to Brigadier Generals Ota and James. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. I, Duke Ota. I, Thomas James. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly, do solemnly swear. swear. That I will support and defend. That I will, I will support, support and defend. defend the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution, Constitution of, of the United, United States. States. And the Constitution of the State of Hawaii. And the, and the Constitution, Constitution of the State, State of, Hawaii. of Hawaii. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all, all enemies, enemies, foreign and, and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. same that I will obey the orders of the President of the United States, that I will I obey, obey the orders, orders of the President of the United States, States and the Governor of the State of Hawaii, and the, and the governor, governor of the State, State of, of Hawaii, Hawaii, that I make this obligation freely, that I make this obligation freely, without any mental reservations or purpose of evasion, without any mental reservations or purpose of evasion, and that I will well and faithfully discharge. That I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office of Brigadier General. The duties of the office of Brigadier General. In the National Guard of the State of Hawaii. In the National Guard in the State of Hawaii. Upon which I am about to enter. Upon which I am about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you, Governor Ige. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to introduce Brigadier General Duke Ota. Good morning. Wow. Um, Governor Ige, First Lady, General Hara, General Varislam, General Harris, General Carlson, General Kaivi, General uh, Mitsuyoshi, all other generals on online. 
Chief Justice Breckenwall, Chief Judge Ginoza, Associate Judge Leonard, fellow airmen, family and friends, thank you for taking time out of your very busy schedules, especially during the holidays when you need to get out there and shop for the family, but really appreciate it. I am humbled, deeply humbled, standing here before you uh, with this new rank of Brigadier General. I, I would not ever be able to get here without so many people in, in the last 38 years of my career that have shed tears, sweat, and a lot of hard work and a lot of mentors in my career out there. And many of you are, are on uh, witnessing this today. I sincerely thank you for that. <clears throat> I'd like to thank the God, my almighty Father in heaven, for everything that he's bestowed upon myself and, and Helen and I. Uh, so blessed, you know, five sons, an awesome uh, career in the Air Force, and many uh, great people to work with. Uh, so thankful for that. I also like to recognize a special person, uh, special mentor, Colonel Ron Hahn. You know, he's been my uh, mentor for probably a, a good 15 years of my Hawaii Air National Guard career. And he has really set the example of how to treat people with dignity and respect. And I've carried that on in my career. And, and, and he's really moved me around and uh, developed me to where I am today as well. Second person I'd like to thank is uh, Brigadier General Ryan Okahara. He was also my uh, supervisor when I was the, his deputy group commander. And uh, he really showed me what it means to set the standard, set the bar high, and stand by the bar that you've set and told the line. Even when the decisions are not popular, he did the right thing and stood by what he uh, stood for. I have a couple friends that uh, Mr. Kevin Vieira, Mr. Ed Mamie, these two individuals, uh, I've known them from my early enlisted days and throughout my career they have been there and today I call them brothers. Uh, they, they just uh, have, have been an ear uh, full and constantly motivate me when for whatever reason I need to be charged. I'll give any one of those two a call and uh, uh, they, they really fuel me back up. I'd like to thank all the chiefs, all the commanders that worked, have worked for me over the past and really supported me. I'd like to thank all the airmen in the mission support group uh, and maintenance, all of you have been just tremendous to work for. I really truly enjoyed working for each and every one of you. <clears throat> I also like to thank uh, four uh, dear friends of my wife's. Actually one is a cousin, her cousin Hannah, her three friends Jolene, uh, Tammy, and Susie. While I was away for three and a half years at Tyndall, they were uh, her confidants and, and really took care of her and supported her while I was away. And Secondly, I'd like to thank all my, my brothers and sisters uh, for all of their love and support. You know, my father uh, served in the Army Reserves and planted the seed of the military into me and said, hey, son, that's a door that someday could be open. And lo and behold, three of us took that door of, of our siblings, my dad's siblings. And uh, <clears throat> it's been awesome. I want to congratulate my brother just retired from the Air, For Army, I'm sorry, Air Force Reserves with over 30 years as a senior master sergeant. Sister still serving as a lieutenant colonel as the FSS commander. Keep up the great work, sis. I'm proud of you. I'd like to thank my mom and dad. You know, my mother passed away this, uh, earlier this year, and uh, she, she was always that uh, phone call away that I, I needed to get to feel that uh, family love, the motherly love uh, that, that is everlasting. And my dad, I know you're watching at home. Uh, I'm, I'm so thankful for all that you've bestowed in me and uh, with my values and everything. I really appreciate that. And uh, I'd like to thank my sons, my five boys, especially Tad, all the way out in Colorado. Tad, love you. Keep up the great work and uh, continue to do well. And my four sons here, Rain, Drake, Chaz, and Seth. One of my five sons joined the Hawaii Air National Guard and I'm proud that he's served He's currently in there two, two years now, uh, working out in the LOCRF out in the 154th Maintenance Squadron. So proud of all of you. And look forward to many, many more years with all of you watching you build your families. And the last but not least, my wife, my rock, the 
the one that's given me so much support, love, and inspiration. I wouldn't be here without her. I'm, I'm telling you, I would not have made general without her. At times when, you know, uh, PME was challenging or whether, you know, going off and picking up a graduate degree, she was always pushing me. When I would say, oh, okay, hon, I think uh, I, I, I've hit about the plateau, I think. She, no, not with my wife. She, she would have no other. She's, she was always pushing me along. And I tell you, I can't thank you enough. I love you with all my heart. And last but not least, I just want to wish everyone a very merry, merry Christmas, a happy new year in 21. I hope for the most prosperous year and hope we all get vaccinated and stay COVID free and COVID safe. With all that, much aloha. Thank you. Thank you, Brigadier General Ota. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to introduce Brigadier General Thomas James. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mahalo. Mahalo Nui Loa. Uh, Governor Ige, thank you, sir. Uh, also, First Lady, Mrs. Ige. Uh, I kind of typed it into my phone to make sure I wouldn't forget anybody. I'm, I'm already shaking right now, so uh, I'm so, so blessed to be here. A big thank you to the crew who set this up. You guys are awesome. Uh, Andrew, Jeff, JP, uh, CP, Crystal, uh, Gavin Ching, and of course uh, my uh, exec, Major Halick. She's been wonderful for the last three and a half, four years, so we couldn't do it without them. Thank you, uh, Major General Hara, for being online there. Major General Varis Lum, thank you so much for tuning in. Major General McCubbin, uh, thank you, and uh, it's good to, uh, to see you guys online. Uh, Todd and I, we flew together 30 years ago as T-38 instructors, uh, so what a great tribute. And I got to attend his uh, pin on when I was at LED last year, so I did it virtually. So uh, thank you for being online, sir. Appreciate that. Brigadier General Cal Evie, Chief Justice Reckonwald, Chief Judge Genoza, uh, Brigadier General Harris, Brigadier General uh, Okahara, uh, and Brigadier General Ota. Thank you for uh, sharing this day with me. Uh, it's phenomenal. Duke and I have been friends for four plus years. I feel like I've known him for a lifetime. And uh, he's such a great guy. So to, to, to share this day with him, I, I can't tell you how special that is. So thank you for that. Uh, also want to thank General Kohara for his mentorship. Uh, he entrusted me with the 201st AOG about four and a half years ago. And uh, what a ride. Uh, we've been all over the world, you know, as an AOG, Japan, CENTCOM, out now UD, Germany, you name it, we've been there, Korea. Uh, so thank you, sir, for entrusting me with the uh, AOG. I really appreciate that. As well, uh, thanks to General Reagan and General Eisler for entrusting me with my previous command out in Pennsylvania. Uh, and as you know, we were all over the world as well, getting training from all kinds of places, from Tazar, Hungary, to Korea, Hawaii. Uh, and so forth. So thank you, sirs, for, for that as well. I, too, am blessed from above, so I wanna, wanna acknowledge that. So I can't, I can't overemphasize that. I'm very thankful for a lot of things. Uh, I'm thankful that my service dress fits. That's always good, right? <laughs> so it's always nice to have a little breathing room in that. Uh, and, and I owe that a lot to uh, the flight surgeons and Dr. Batani who fixed me up. He's fixed my knee up, fixed my shoulder up. Thank you, Dr. Batani, for doing that to allow me to continue to PT, maintain Air Force you know, PT standards, and uh, uh, continue on in my career. So big shout out to you, Dr. Batani. I know you're listening. Uh, I want to thank uh, my dad and mom, my mom in heaven. Uh, I, too, lost my mom. Uh, and uh, I know my dad, Senior Chief Petty Officer James, is, uh, is out there. So thank you, Dad. Appreciate that. And Paul and Teresa, my brother and sister. And then my uh, mom and dad, too, uh, the Bodwin family, uh, Jane and uh, uh, Joe Bodwin. So mom and dad, too, thank you for all you've done over the last 34 plus years. Um, especially like to thank my family. Uh, my Ohana, uh, you know, phenomenal. Uh, Jackie, Thomas, and Jacob. Jackie looking in from uh, uh, La Plata, Maryland. And of course, you saw Thomas and Jacob. Uh, and Jacob also is an A1C in the Hawaii Guard, and Thomas is a uh, pre-doctor uh, of uh, physical therapy uh, in kinesiology, so very proud of those folks. And then, of course, Mayor Janine James, so thank you so much for making the trip out here. It's, uh, it was a wonderful, uh, wonderful surprise that you guys could come out, uh, so I really, really appreciate that. Uh, you guys are my rock. 
Uh, always depend on you whenever I'm gone, which seems to be a lot of the time. So when I'm TDY, you guys always help out. You help out mom and help out each other. So couldn't do it without you. Uh, you actually are the wind beneath my wings. So, uh, and I don't say that lightly, you know, just because I'm a, I'm a pilot, but you are the wind beneath my wings. And that's, that's a very true saying, so I really appreciate that. To uh, Colonel Baldy and Betsy Lefebvre, uh, Baldy, you know I wouldn't be here without you. Uh, you and I walked over to the NGV that day when I was making that transition from active duty to the guard. So special shout out to you, Baldy. Uh, thank you so much for all of that. To uh, our mighty AOG, uh, love our AOG. Um, that is a phenomenal organization all the way from the squadron commanders to Chief Peters, uh, Sergeant Ono, and uh, even Sergeant John Kim, who was the previous first sergeant. So good to, to have you guys uh, and to work with you is phenomenal. Trout and Sodi. I couldn't have asked for a better team. Uh, and what we've done over the last four and a half years, the things that we've accomplished have been phenomenal. You know, the, the gain of almost 30% 30, 30 personnel increase uh, and the trust that PACAF has put in us to run the AOC. Uh, me as an AOC director, who would have thought that 30 years ago? You know, I'm running the entire air war out in PACAF. So that's an unbelievable amount of trust. Uh, that they put in us, and I can't thank our AOG enough. It's just been a phenomenal ride. Chief Don Taylor, thank you for all your mentorship. I know you're out there. Uh, Brigadier General Regan, I already mentioned, General Eisler. Uh, Colonel Chris Munch, thanks for all your help, uh, not only from HRO and personnel, but your ear uh, and shoulder to lean on. That has been phenomenally special. So thank you for that. Scotty Meyer, I know you're out there. Colonel Shoes Del Grego from the Pentagon, my boss. Not only an outstanding fighter pilot, but uh, an outstanding person uh, morally uh, as well as professionally. Uh, I use you as my litmus test, so uh, thank you for that. Appreciate that. Uh, Colonel retired, AJ Torres. AJ uh, was our division chief in the Pentagon. Uh, many times, AJ would have discussions with us and then uh, pull us aside and have special discussions. I can't tell you how much that has really uh, set me on this path. So thank you, AJ, for that. I really appreciate that. My uh, brothers and sisters in the JTF, I know you're still at it. We've been at it for nine and a half months in the JTF for COVID-19 response. Uh, what a phenomenal group, uh, a joint group. General Kaweevi, uh, Command Sergeant Major Jimenez, uh, James Barros, Ben Kau. Uh, all of you guys are phenomenal. I really, really enjoyed my time on the JTF, and I'd come back there in a heartbeat, and I'd fight uh, next to you guys anywhere, uh, any place on any battlefield. Just know that. Uh, to my deployment, Ohana, uh, we still keep in touch from our deployment back in 2019. It's phenomenal how email and text and stuff like that, so thank you for that. Mama Shot, I know you're out there. It's good to see you. Uh, Steve Lanier, Drew Phil, Sean, George Granholm, still think about you guys and gals all the time and what we did out in LUD and how important that was uh, and how uh, at times it was scary because of the situation out there with ISIS and Syria, Iraq and Iran. Uh, so thank you for that and it's still good to be in touch with you guys. MJ, I know you're out there as well. Uh, so thank you for that. It's been a crazy career, the things that we've done. Uh, who would have known you know, active duty for 21 years, guard for eight and a half years. Uh, I've gotten a chance to fly five different aircraft. How lucky can a guy be to, to fly five different aircraft and fly them around the world and do important things? Uh, it's just been a phenomenal career. I can't, I can't think enough. My Pentagon time, I never thought I'd be in the Pentagon. I ended up doing two tours in the Pentagon. I, I know I probably went kicking and screaming, but from those great folks, you know, like uh, Shoes Del Grego, BC DeMasso, Terry Doyle, Grumpy Sanders, uh, you guys really molded me into uh, an air staff uh, strategist, so thank you for that. Uh, and I'm going to take that into my uh, new job over at Indo-PACOM uh, in the Strategy J5 department. So I'm looking forward to joining you all. Thank you for the Indo-PACOM folks. General, I know you're on there, so thank you for that. Uh, and then thank you for my AOC, Ohana. Um, Ox, Yukon, Swede, uh, who else? Uh, Tulsa. Drag, you know, all the call signs. Uh, so thank you guys, uh, and thank you for entrusting me with the uh, AOC weapon system. I can't tell you how important uh, that was and how nervous it made me. You know, being there at uh, 11 o'clock at night, briefing the PACAF four-star General Brown come in, and, and you guys gave me the stick to the aircraft. So thank you for that. 
It was a tremendous opportunity, and uh, hopefully I uh, never let you down with the AOC. So, and finally, uh, Merry Christmas to all. Happy holidays. Be safe out there. COVID is real. I just came off the JTF for nine and a half months. Uh, Governor Ige has been doing a wonderful job with the state. You see how low our numbers are, and it's near and dear to my heart how important it is to maintain that uh, mask and sanitizing and social distance. I just live that. Uh, and General Kelly, even I know uh, you're out there and, and uh, you know, still working the JTF, and thank you for all of your mentorship. It's so uh, important. Yeah, I miss you already, too. I see you texting. <laughs> so uh, thank you for that. Uh, guys, be safe out there for COVID, and thank you so much. All right, that's all I have. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to all. Thank you, Brigadier General James. Brigadier General Ota and Brigadier General James would like to thank all of you who joined us online. At this time, we'd like to conclude today's ceremony with the singing of the Air Force song. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the formal ceremony. Congratulations, Good job. Good job.